2022 with the Academy of Science and Technology. Today's topic is formation of partial differential equation. See, partial differential equations are those equations which involve partial derivatives. Today we will see how to make partial differential equations either by elimination of arbitrary constants or by elimination of arbitrary functions. Before going to this, we have to familiar with the certain notations. Here we consider Z as a function of x and y, that is Z equal to f of x, y. That is Z depends on the variables x and y. So you can differentiate Z partially with respect to x, that's our dy set by dy x. Again, you can differentiate Z partially with respect to y, that's our dy set by dy y. We use the notations P is equal to dy set by dy x, Q is equal to dy set by dy y. Again, you can differentiate p partially with respect to x, that's our dou square z by dou x square. Also, you can differentiate p partially with respect to y, that's our dou square z by dou x dou y. Also, you can differentiate q partially with respect to y, that's our dou square z by dou y square. And these are the second order partial derivatives of z. Similarly, you can differentiate these for getting higher order partial derivatives. Yes, we have the notations. Z equal to f of x, y. We have the partial derivatives. Dou z by dou x, dou z by dou y, dou square z by dou x square, dou square z by dou x dou y, dou square z by dou y square. See, it is denoted by P, Q, R, S, T. See, these are the notations. Here, dou square z by dou x dou y. See, it's also same as dou square z by dou y dou x. Okay? Consider z equal to a square x plus b square y plus a b. See, z is a function of x and y. Here, a and b are the arbitrary constants. Let me make a partial differential equation by eliminating the arbitrary constants a and b. See, partial differential equations are those equations which involve partial derivatives. So, we have to differentiate Z partially with respect to X and Y. So, P is dou Z by dou X. You differentiate Z partially with respect to X. At the time of differentiating with respect to X, you keep Y as a constant. So, dou z by dou x is a square. Next, q is equal to dou z by dou y. While differentiating partially with respect to y, you keep x as a constant. So, this term is a constant and its derivative with respect to y is 0. So, here its derivative is b square and see a b is a constant. So, its uh, partial derivative with respect to y is 0. So, Q is B square. See, keep in your mind, we are forming a partial differential equation uh, by the elimination of arbitrary constants A and B. So, we have to eliminate A and B. So, we can eliminate A and B with the help of the equations 1, 2 and 3. See, A square is P, B square is Q. So, what is Z? Z is Px plus Qy plus A is root to P. B is root to Q. That is root PQ. See, it's an equation which contains the partial derivatives. Here, P and Q. P is dou z by dou x. Q is dou z by dou See, it's an equation which contains partial derivatives. So, it's a partial differential equation. See, which is our required partial differential equation. Okay. One more illustration. Consider z equal to x square plus a square into a y square plus b square. See, here z is a function of x and y in the arbitrary constants a and b. Here, we have to make a PD by eliminating the arbitrary constants. PDE means an equation which contains partial derivatives. So, you differentiate Z partially with respect to X and Y. So, write what is P? P. 
See, it is a derivative of Z partially with respect to x. While differentiating Z partially with respect to x, we have to keep y as a constant. So, in Z, you keep y as a constant. So, y square plus b square is a constant. We know derivative of constant into function is constant into derivative of the function. So, derivative is this constant into derivative of x square plus a square. Derivative of x square plus a square is 2x. So, answer is y square plus b square into 2x. Next, q. q is dou z by dou y. You have to keep x as a constant. So, x square plus a square is a constant. Derivative of constant into function is constant into derivative of the function. So, you take the constant then you differentiate y square plus b square with respect to y which is 2y. So, q is this one. Next, you have to eliminate a and b from the equations 1, 2 and 3. See, in the previous example, it is very easy to eliminate a and b. Here, it's not very easy. You think and try to eliminate a and b. See, for that, you consider pq. What is pq? pq is 2 into 2, 4, x into y, this into this. That is x square plus a square into y square plus b square. What is a, x square plus a square into y square plus b square? From equation number 1, it is z. So, pq is equal to 4 x y z. See, it is a partial differential equation. It is an equation which contains the partial derivatives. So, it is a partial differential equation and which is our required partial differential equation. Or you can rewrite it as pq minus 4xyz is equal to 0. Next, I would like to uh, form the differential equation of all spheres whose center lies on the z axis. For that, first you have to write the equation of all spheres whose center lies on the z axis. Since the center lies on the z axis, uh, its center can be 0, 0, c. Assume the radius is r. So, equation of all spheres whose center lies on the z axis is x square plus y square plus z minus c the whole square is equal to r square. See, we are forming the differential equation of such spheres for that. Here, See, basically our assumption is z is a function of x and y. So, here it is partial differentiation. So, you differentiate 1 partially with respect to x. So, while differentiating partially with respect to x, we have to keep y as a constant. So, derivative of x square with respect to x is 2x. Derivative of y square is 0. Derivative of z minus c, the whole square is c. Uh, basically, we notice this as a function of x and y. So, its derivative is 2 into z minus c e into dou z by dou x is equal to 0. That is, we can remove this 2. That is, x plus z minus c e into p equal to 0. Again, differentiate equation 1 partially with respect to y. Here we have to keep x as a constant. So derivative of x square is 0. Derivative of y square is 2y plus 2 into z minus c into q is equal to 0. You can remove the 2 that is y plus z minus c into q equal to 0. That is equation number 3. Next try to eliminate p and q from equations 1, 2 and 3. So from 2, you can write z minus c into p is equal to minus x. From equation 3, z minus c into q is equal to minus y. Next, consider equation a by equation b. Dividing these two, then these will cancel. We get p by q is equal to x by y. See, it's an equation which contains the partial derivatives. By rearranging, you can see Py minus Qx equal to C. 
See, this is our required partial differential equation. So, see, this is the partial differential equation of, see, it's a partial differential equation. So, it's the partial differential equation of all spheres whose center lies on the z-axis. Formation of partial differential equation by elimination of arbitrary functions. So for that, consider z equal to f of x square minus y square. That is, z is any function of x square minus y square. That is, here f is an arbitrary function. To make the PDE, we have to eliminate the arbitrary function f. For that, you differentiate z partially with respect to x and y. So that is p dou z by dou x. It is f dash x square minus y square into derivative of x square minus y square with respect to x. With respect to x, its derivative is 2x. Next write what is q. q is dou z by dou y. It is f dash x square minus y square. Next, you have to multiply by the derivative of x square minus y square partially with respect to y. Its derivative with respect to y is minus 2y. Now, we have the equations 1, 2 and 3. Next, you have to make a PDE which is free from f and its derivatives. So you try to make such an equation from 1, 2 and 3. For that, you just consider 2 by 3 which implies p by q is equal to minus x by y. Look into this equation. It's an equation which contains partial derivatives. And it is free from f. So which is the required partial differential equation? By rearranging, you can see py plus qx is equal to 0. Is the required partial differential equation. Let me explain how I differentiate z equal to f of x square minus y square in the previous example. For differentiating this, you have to make a substitution for x square minus y square. You put u as x square minus y square. Then, is z equal to f of u, where u is equal to x square minus y square. Next step, apply chain rule of partial differentiation. So, see here. Z is a function of u, but u is a function of x and y. So ultimately, we can think z as a function of x and y. So the partial derivative dou z by dou x is, by chain rule, it is dz by du into dou u by dou x. See, dz by du is, dz by du is f dash u. Since f contains a single variable, so the derivative is the ordinary derivative into what is dou u by dou x? Dou u by dou x is 2x. So dou z by dou x is f dash u into 2x. Similarly, dou z by dou y equal to dz by du into dou u by dou y. That is equal to f dash u into dou u by dou y. dou u by dou y is minus 2y. So you have to multiply by minus 2y. And here, here, here we made a substitution. You replace the substitution. So this is equal to f dash x square minus y square into 2x. So here it is f dash x square minus y square into minus 2y. Conclude this video by illustrating one more example containing more than one arbitrary function. So consider it's said equal to fx plus e raised to y gx. Here f and g are arbitrary functions. For 
getting the partial differential equation you differentiate with respect to x that is p equal to dou z by dou x which is equal to f dash x plus e raised to y g dash x again q equal to dou z by dou y that is e raised to y g x here while differentiating with respect to y we have to keep x as a constant so its derivative is zero that's why q is e raised to y g x see it's not like the previous examples Be because here we can't eliminate f and g by using these three equations by looking into this uh, you take the second order derivatives it's, it, it is convenient to write t t is what is t dou square z by dou y square it is uh, actually dou square z by dou y square is dou by dou y of dou z by dou y that is you differentiate this partially with respect to y answer is e raised to y gx now what is t t is equal to by equation number 3 this is q so t is equal to q see it's an equation which contains partial derivatives so which is the required partial differential equation okay bye